Welcome to another how to video on the Ion Science Tiger XT. In this video, I will demonstrate how you can perform a field calibration on your Tiger XT instrument. Field calibrations may be necessary due to a variety of reasons, such as changes in environmental conditions, temperature, humidity, and changes in atmospheric pressure can change your readings, or for regulatory compliance or sensor drift. The field calibration is broken down into two main parts. The first part is a zero using the carbon filter. The second part requires you to perform a calibration with a cylinder of isobutylene gas. When you hire a Tiger XT and calibration gas, you'll receive the Tiger XT monitor, a cylinder of isobutylene gas, a gas regulator, and a T-piece. Ensure the calibration gas has not expired by checking the date on the cylinder. The first part of the calibration process requires you to assemble your cylinder of isobutylene gas. Take your cylinder of isobutylene gas and attach the regulator. Give it a quick test for flow, and then attach your T-piece. You've now assembled your isobutylene gas ready for calibration. When the Tiger XT is turned on, cycle through the soft key buttons until you see the Cal icon on the right side of the screen and press the B soft key. From here you'll see two options, the factory calibration icon and the custom calibration icon. For this calibration, select the custom calibration icon, confirm using the B soft key. From this menu, the last calibration date may appear along with a new Cal option. If this screen appears, Please select the new Cal icon and click OK. A tick will appear next to the new Cal icon, confirming that a new calibration has been selected. From here, press the Escape soft key. This will bring you to a new screen with the word zero. Whilst in this menu, attach the zero carbon filter assembly. This can be done by unscrewing the lids on both sides of the filter and attaching the filter to the end of the Tiger probe nozzle. Then select OK to initiate the zero calibration sequence. The display will then count down for 30 seconds. Disconnect the carbon filter assembly and replace the cap ends. Once the zero is complete, press OK using the B soft key to proceed. A quick check of the lamp will be initiated by the Tiger followed by a prompt to introduce isobutylene gas. Ensure that the calibration gas for span 1 value indicated on the screen matches that of the concentration on the gas bottle you're using. If not, this can be adjusted by using the directional arrows until you reach the desired gas concentration, 100 ppm in this case. Once the span has been adjusted correctly, attach the cylinder of isobutylene gas through the T-piece. Turn on the flow and let the gas flow for a couple seconds before pressing the B soft key to accept. A 30 second countdown will now commence. Once the countdown has been completed, a tick will appear indicating the span has been accepted. Press the B soft key for OK. You have now successfully calibrated your Tiger XT instrument. You can now turn off the regulator and disconnect the cylinder from your Tiger XT instrument. Thank you for watching our how to video on the Ion Science Tiger XT. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out to your local AirMet office on 1 800 000 744.